A small town movie theater is up for sale, and it's anyone's guess how many movies have been shown on the screen inside the Trivoli Theater. But Carolyn Epsch has been there for some of them. Teenage years, that was, that was the thing to do on the weekend, just to go to the theater, absolutely. But teenagers or anyone else can't see a movie at the theater right now because it's been closed for more than two years. Now, people we talk to in town hope to see it reopen. The theater is about an hour and 20 minutes north of Green Bay in Menominee County, Michigan. Here's my co-anchor, John Erickson. A movie director looking for a small town as a setting could choose Stevenson in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. And it turns out, the city of about 800 people has a movie theater of its own. It's a theater where family memories came full circle for a woman who's lived in the area her entire life. I was born in 48, so I would have started school in 53 in Aldering Elementary School. We were bused there for Christmas program. We raised seven kids in this town and they all went to school here and we often took them to the theater. But the Tivoli Theater is closed and up for sale, asking price of $110,000. I asked the family who owns the theater, other than the purchase price, how much it would cost to get this open, to show that first movie. They said about $15,000. I am selling because my husband had passed away a year and a half ago and I have four other businesses I have to take care of, so I'm pretty swamped. Owner Ann Young says the last movie was shown here in fall of 2020. Now, after about 15 years of owning it, she hopes it sells soon. It's time to let go of this and go on to new adventures. Stevenson area public schools are just down the road from the theater. Aaron Parker used to lead the drama club here. We did. Peter Pan, and then our production would happen over at the Tivoli. If you look, you can see the stage inside the movie theater. But with the theater closed, plays like that aren't happening here. There hasn't been a drama club at the school for two years, but Parker said if the theater reopens and there's a chance to perform here, there could be more interest in the club. The school doesn't have a stage of its own. I definitely think it's a different kind of performance having it there versus having it here and that it might help to bring an interest for our kids of like, hey, we have this big performance. About a half hour south of Stevenson, we talked with Nancy Douglas in Menominee. She worked for a nonprofit that helped with economic development in the area. I asked her if the theater were to reopen, would it be a boost for the area from an economic development point of view? People looking to relocate or come and work in a new place are looking for those sorts of opportunities for recreation. You know, we pride ourselves in, on outdoor recreation, hunting and fishing, but theater and, and those sorts of things are very important too. The theater has been part of Stevenson's history, part of Carolyn Ebsch's history, and she hopes it can be a part of the future here too. For the younger people, it is sad that they don't have a place to go to locally. But the ending to the story of this theater hasn't yet been written. In Menominee County, John Erickson, NBC 26 News. The theater property also includes an ice cream shop and a salon. The real estate agent for the property says there are some potential buyers showing interest, including a man who drove all the way from New Jersey to see it. 